Hi everybody, thanks for stopping in um, and checking out the video. Thanks for checking out other videos on the channel. Let me know what, uh, what's going on in your world. Uh, I have here, I'm going to open up the bundle here, but when I, you can see here I got two pre-release kits. My brother and I, um, this is probably one of my favorite things to do, is uh, get two pre-release kits and pretend like it's a pre-release event. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about four packs, because there's eight packs in here. I'm going to put eight of the set boosters into each one of these, and then we're going to build a deck, a pre-release kit. Um, I'm going to open these up on the channel. Um, let me know uh, what kind of pre-release, you know, w once you see those videos and they come out, let me know what kind of pre-release deck would be good to build with these and those new cards in it. So I'm going to set these aside, and we're going to get right into this. Um, this new bundle, I really like this new style of bundle. If you haven't seen any of the videos or my previous video, um, I'll try and walk through it here quick. But they're doing more eco... Um, you know, uh, environmentally friendly packaging. So I really like the box. Um, it's very cool. It's very on brand, on theme for the set. I really like the set, um, everything that's going on with it. Cool little insert here with the Wanderer on the back. Um, very cool. And then I really like the styling on the box. We'll see if, um, yeah, so there again, that part slides out. Not very great. Um, I did get some of the packs. I did punch some of these out um, in the previous videos. Um, and in some off time, I really think there's uh, some great space to expand on with these um, inserts and these punch outs. Some indestructibility um, counters and stuff like that that are on the set. Plus one, plus one counters. Um, some of those cool dividers. So uh, we got eight packs. The cool dice. I really like the spackling on this. It's a little overdone on a few of them, but I really like that idea and the design. But very cool. And then our two eco friendly land packs. So we have the non foil. And obviously the foil because it's curled with a promo card in it, the Invoke Despair. So, yeah, let me know uh, if you've opened up a few of these products, what you think of them. Um, our two How to Play cards and our Neon Dynasty set boosters. So, let's see. We'll divide these up. I'll um, set four of them aside for one pre-release kit and four of them for the other. Um, we'll do it like this. I'll just put them off here off camera. And then we'll do four for each of them. So... First one here, get right into it. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. I know the weather's getting nicer, so it's getting fun to be outside. Um, doing some work on the house, awesome. We got a foil art land, <laughs> full art land, one of the new ones. Very cool, anime style Sunblade Samurai, Gift of Wrath, Lucky Offering, Cami of Industry, Cami's Flare, Enthusiastic Mechanaut, Replicant, Replication Specialist, a great card there and limited as well. Tales of Master Sashiro as our uh, Enchantment Saga. Ruthless Technomancer. So I've seen some people um, recommend this card, but I'm pretty sure this is from the Commander set. So it's got the Commander set symbol. Um, but yeah, um, when Ruthless Technomancer enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature you control. If you do, create a number of treasure tokens equal to that creature's power. So here again with um, treasures being more and more of a theme, uh, revel and riches and stuff like that as win conditions. Um, and then you can uh, sacrifice X artifacts, return target creature card with power X or less from your graveyard to your battlefield. Uh, X can't be zero. So very cool card. March of Burgeoning Life. Um, not really amazing. A little nick there on the top. And Short Circuit is our foil. And then our Human Monk that taps to add one. So I'm going to set these aside for this pre-release kit over here. We'll go into the other pre-release This one here for the next pre-release kit. We'll see what we got in this one. So... The full art lands. I've seen um, some... I, I really like this anime style. I've seen some of the Neon Ink. Uh, I know uh, Joey from Bad Boy Gaming opened up the Red Neon Ink on his channel, which was very cool, um, but very rare. So, uh, Long Reach of Night. Awesome. We got one of the best mythics in the set, the Wandering Emperor. Very cool card, Flash. Uh, and then our foil is Dukuchi, Sh Dukuchi Shadow... <laughs> Walker. Um, the Wandering Emperor, a great card. Planeswalker with Flash, and then you can activate the abilities um, the first turn she comes in. But very great card. Put a 1 1 counter on up to one target creature. It gains first strike until end of turn. Create a 2 2 white samurai creature with vigilance, and then exile tap creature. You gain two life. So very relevant um, protection for herself, and then giving another creature first strike. So that's going to be a great addition for that pre release kit. Next pack here. Get right into it. The Full Art Land, the Island, Asari Captain, Dramatist's Puppet, Iron Apprentice, 
Simeon Sling, Searchlight Companion, Assassin's Inc., Ni Naomi, Pillar of Order, Befriending the Moths, a Mythic, this looks like it's from the Commander Set again, Kaima the Fractured Calm, and a Mythic uh, bread, or Black Dragon, sorry. This, so this is turning out to be a pretty good uh, uh, bundle. So Junji, the Midnight Sky. So um, this is a callback to the original Kamigawa d um, Dragons. Flying Menace, when it dies, choose one. Each opponent discards two cards and loses two life. Or put target creature, non-dragon creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. You lose two life. So recursion or um, discard for your, and um, and um, yeah, lost life for your opponent. Faithless Looting, great card. I'm pretty sure it's banned now though. Um, so that's going into, oh, that, I pulled that from this pile. So that's going back into that second pre-release kit. Next pack here. Art card, the Full Art Land, Peerless Samurai, Coiling Stalker, Bamboo Grove Archer, Uncharted Haven, Fade Into Antiquity. Um, great card and limited because it gets rid of a lot of sagas or um, vehicles. So yeah, uh, one of the shrines, Goshintai of Boundless Vigor, Goshintai of Ancient Wars, Tales of Master Shishiro, and another commander card, Myojin of Towering Might. Hey, that's the second. Well, that's awesome. Two of the same mythics, not going to complain, the dragon, and then a moon snare prototype. So this is, what do you got, three mythics, pretty powerful mythics in this bundle. All right, for that right pre-release kit, we'll open up another pack here. Foil Swiftwater Cliffs, Coiling Stalker, Selfless Samurai, Twisted Embrace, Shrine Steward, Debt to the Kami, Kami of Relentless Shadows, Restless Shadows, sorry, Discover the Impossible. Colossal Sky Turtle, great um, channel abilities on this guy. Azusa's Many Journeys, and uh, and the Rare Land. This is one of the. This has been a great bundle. The Rare Lands in this um, set are awesome. So, Takanuma, Abandoned Mire, great channel land, and our Foil Network Terminal. So that's a great black land for you know to add with the dragon for that pre-release kit. Let me know if you guys got any fun pulls from the set. Um, the rare land cycle makes it good to open up. Let me know if you open any collector's boosters or anything cool like that. Or if you're trying out one of these bundles. I know they're a lot of fun. And if you open them up and use them towards something, it's even even better. So We got a land in the uncommon slot there. And a mythic, Juga Defends the Temple, who turns into rem rem Remnant of the Rising Star. I haven't seen too much of this. Um, create a 1-1... One -one monk creature token that taps add one put a one one counter on up to two target creatures and then exile it and transform when another creature enters the battlefield under your control you may pay x when you do put x counters on that creature so great for one one counter synergy and seven tail mentor as our foil so this is i don't know what is that now four mythics that's pretty awesome actually we've gotten a lot more than that six mythics seven mythics i don't even because of the Commander Mythics in, in this bundle. Imperial Recovery Unit, Selfless Samurai, Great and Limited. Azusa's Many Journeys, a Ganjo Uprising. So this one I haven't heard too much chatter about. I don't think it's that great. But then we got a March of Reckless Joy. Uh, extended Foil, I think is what that is. But very cool. Rare. As an additional cost to cast it, you may exile on any number of red cards. And it costs two less. And then, so you get to... Um, get that card draw from that so you can play those into your next turn so very cool um i'm not gonna this has been an awesome bundle let me know what you think about it down in the comments below um drop a like subscribe check out some other videos on the channel let me know what you think rugged highlands peerless samurai coiling stalker iron apprentice simeon sling searchlight companion coiling stalker naomi pillar of order banishing slash life of toshira umazawa and our last card, Mirror Box, another great rare. The legend rule doesn't apply, and each legendary creature you get, you control gets plus one, plus one. Uh, I wanted this card. I think the foils in this and the extended art look really cool. Suit up, and then Sacred Rites is our list card. So, very awesome. Um, I'm going to add them, separate them out, and we're going to play some limited in these. Um, come back and check out the limited decks and or um, the opening of those pre-release kits, and let me know what you thought of the opening. Thanks for stopping in. We'll check you in the next one.